Teenager confesses to killing her dad when she was only seven years old. The dead man's wife is currently charged with his murder. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay is joining us live here in the studio tonight. So, Chris, the attorney for the wife says the real story is now coming out. Yes, well, back in 2018, police discovered Michael Shaver's body buried on Lori Shaver's property. He was killed three years earlier in 2015. Lori's defense team tells me she was keeping her daughter's secret, but now they want the truth told. A new twist in a murder case. Attorneys for Lori Shaver, who was charged with shooting and killing her husband, Michael, in 2015, now claim the couple's daughter pulled the trigger. She relayed to me you know, in, in extreme detail what had happened between her. He wants the judge to reconsider his stance after new documents say the daughter confessed to killing Michael Shaver. She was seven years old at the time of the murder. I didn't see anything in this child to indicate to me that this child was being dishonest. The attorney tells me Michael Shaver showed up to the house and began attacking Lori. It was then, he says, when the little girl went to grab a gun and shot Michael in the head. I filed a motion to ask the court to have an expert appointed to evaluate the child, to see that the child is testified truthfully, honestly, and that there's no tampering with the child. The defense wants the now teenager to testify. I think the court is stepping on the defendant's due process rights. I spoke with Dr. Pogos Vaskanian. He's a board certified psychiatrist. Children may make confessions even if they did not do it. He has no connection to the case. However, he tells me the evaluation isn't as simple as it sounds. Not only is it hard to prove what children knew or were feeling at the time of an incident, it's also hard to determine they know the gravity of the situation. Do children understand consequences of their behavior in the same manner as adults do? No. I was supposed to start earlier, but it was pushed back. Wiggs is hopeful it will start by the end of the year. Reporting in the studio, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.